Hello there folks, it is TIJ Gaming and welcome to the first part, the opener of my Snooker 19 career. I am massively excited to bring this series to you guys. I've been waiting a long time for Snooker 19 since the announcement came and ever since that announcement I knew I'd be doing a career mode and of course covering this game in some real depth. So today we're going to start our Pro Seasons career mode with none other than Neil Robertson, the funder from Down Under. Now unfortunately I was going to do two career modes on the channel, one in the Pro Seasons options with Mr Robertson and then one in the Rising Stars option with the chap in the top left of that picture, Joe O'Connor. But unfortunately you can only have one career mode going on on your uh, system at one time so I might have a look and see if that can be changed in the game or if I can find a way around it. But for now we are going to prioritise the career of Neil Robertson. Let's get into this then. Of course we can choose any of the 120 Eight players in the rankings. We're not particularly going to go with uh, Luke Simmons or Halworth, but just to go through some of the big names, of course, Ronnie O'Sullivan now rank number one after winning the Players' Championship and the Tour Championship. Uh, we've got Mark Selby in number two, who isn't playing the best at the moment, but I can guarantee he's a very good player in game. We've got Mark Williams, the current world champion, of course, at number three. We've got John Higgins, uh, his opponent last year in the final at number four. We've got Mark Allen, the pistol, who's not really had such a good year, particularly the start to this year. Uh, and then we have Judd Trump, who is really an up-and-coming player. The ace or the Judd Nort. And uh, then, of course, we have the Thunder from Down Under, who's had a brilliant season. Hopefully, we can replicate something similar to that with Neil Robertson. With his 15 ranking title, 628 century breaks, which leaves him at a rank of number 7. And, of course, it is without doubt he is the top-ranking Australian in the game. So, we're going to play with a medium difficulty, pro aiming aid, and medium match length. So, pro seasons, it's the new season from 2019 to 20. So, just to clear this up, I did try this earlier, actually. Um, we actually don't have to qualify for the Riga Masters. I'm not particularly sure why, uh, but I did try this earlier, and after this event, you do go uh, straight into the Riga Masters. Not really sure why that happens or why we don't have to qualify, whether that's a glitch or what, but we will be starting today's episode with the qualifiers, of course, for the China World Open, or just the Yushan World Open, as it is known. But we have a hell of a lot of tournaments over the year. Of course, half of these are going to be qualifiers, so... It doesn't look as big as there are, uh, as it is, but of course we go all through the season, the Champion of Champions, the UK Championship, Scottish Open, the German Master, the Grand Prix, the Shooter, that'll be interesting, the Players, the Tour, and then it all culminates to the finish in the World Championship, which starts at the Crucible on the 18th of April 2020. Now this does replicate the 2019 to 2020 season, rather than the season that's happening at the moment, which I think is quite interesting, uh, but a good decision that's been made. Uh, on behalf of the game. I know that because the uh, World Championship actually starts on the 20th this weekend, uh, but the 18th, of course, would not be um, would not be applied this year because that'll be on a Thursday. But because next year's a leap year, obviously the 18th must be a Saturday. But uh, rather than talking about leap years and all that rubbish, let's get into the career mode, shall we? So let's see who we're facing in the qualifiers for the World Open. So we face Jamie Clark, world number 114. Should be a fairly easy game. Now, if you watched my first impressions video, which I recommend you go and do, uh, I gave a little bit of a review of the video, which there will be a full review of the game coming out near to the end of the week. Uh, but I didn't do too bright great in that first impressions video. I managed to only pot a few balls, but... Um, I've had played this game about 24 hours now, and my highest break's about 32, which doesn't sound fantastic, but... Um, that was with Joe O'Connor, I think. I did try playing a bit of Joe O'Connor career before getting onto this one, uh, and I really enjoyed that. So hopefully playing with Robertson will give us a bit more oomph in terms of our shots, uh, a little bit more ability. I'm not really sure if that's how it works in terms of uh, Q power and all that, all that sort of stuff. But it's the best of five frames. It's ourselves uh, against, is it Jamie Clark? Yes, the Welshman, Jamie Clark, in this best of five frame match uh, for the qualifiers in the World Open. Now we're going to get on with the break straight away. No mucking about. Uh, and yeah, get on with this. Now, if you haven't seen any gameplay of the match of, of the match engine or anything like that before, we do have what's, uh, well, it's not what's called, but we have uh, a three-dimensional shot system. Not three-dimensional, three-stage uh, shot system in this game where you just line it up in the overhead cam, refine it in a uh, kind of first-person cam almost, not with the uh, Q present, but almost in a first-person cam, and the third stage is pulling the right trigger back, uh, right trigger the right, right analog stick back, and taking the shot. But that's not a bad break. There is one red that is available, um, and luckily you're in the company of Neil Folds and David Hendon for today's game. Such a shame it's not John Virgo and Dennis Taylor, but oh well. Can't have everything perfect, can you? So it's going to be a safety here, I think. We're not going to get a pot out of anything here, certainly not. 
Yeah, I'm just checking the cone effect was on. I was thinking, oh, God, have I picked easy aiming aid? Because that cue ball uh, seems to be travelling a lot longer than I thought it did on the old one. So we're just going to try and play a bit of a safety, uh, nestle up to this ball and hopefully not leave anything on. Yeah, we go. Just tapped the red. Now, that red has been left. That was a bit silly from me there because that red on the edge has been left and it's a much easier pot than it was before. And Jamie Clark will take advantage. So... That's an early mistake from us, which isn't too fantastic. And he will have the first opportunity here. Although, if he gets a pot out of this, I'll be very impressed. So, it's another safety shot from Jamie Clark. And uh, I think we require exactly the same here. Again, it's not the end of the world that uh, Jamie has took the early lead. Just one mistake from us. But uh, that's not a bad safety shot. Again, the reds are nicely grouped. So that means that... Unless you play a ridiculously bad safety shot, shot. Uh, you're not going to make too much in the way of mistakes. But uh, another decent safety shot there from uh, Jamie. But I think this red is on. So we'll have to have a look, actually. Because this... Ooh, this blue, ooh, okay. I don't think it is on, then. No, it's not. It's a bit of a shame, actually. So safety shot it is. And it's going to be quite a tricky one coming from this position. But we're going to have to try it. So about 34. Five, I think in terms of the shot power seems weird that a 35 shot power will get you up and down the table That's a little bit harder than I want to hit it But I think it will be saved by the yellow just tapping the yellow to slow the cue ball down now Can he get to this red now? I think he probably can No, he's gonna play a safety which means he probably can't get to it But what can we get to it? We'll find out now won't we I think that reds a lot more accessible this time and it is Tricky shot mind. I like how you can go back um through the uh, stages of the shot, just to make sure that you've got everything right. Now, I think this is okay. Again, my potting's not been the best so far, but this looks okay to me. So, let's just refine it. Hit it quite soft. This is going to be the first pot of the career mode. It absolutely is. Good pot. Now, the power a little bit too hard to get onto the black, which is a little bit unfortunate. But the blue is a possibility here. Tricky pot, but we're going to go for it. Into the top pocket. Just going to get a bit of screw on this ball. Just to make sure that uh, we get decent position. Providing we pot this. Now like I say it is a tricky shot. Because you can't really see uh, where this ball's going particularly. But we're going to have to judge it. To sink this into the left corner pocket. That's not too far off. But unfortunately it's just not dropped. It wasn't too far off though. The line of the ball seemed about okay. So we're getting there in terms of getting used to the aiming aid. And getting used to where the tables play. Uh, but bear in mind, we're not going to be knocking in century break straight away. And hopefully that's something that you guys um, are okay with. Because, uh, you know, it's going to take time to adjust this game. Now, I'm going to play a bit of a shot to nothing here. Like I say, it's going to take time to adjust this game. That was very close as well, to be honest. Um, it's going to take time to adjust. At the end of the day, snooker is a game of very, very narrow margins. And, you know, you've just seen in those two shots we've just played. Oh, dear, Jamie, that was a bit of an ambitious pot. But to be fair, it was quite close. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's a game of fine margins. And we've just seen the last two shots there that, you know, if you don't quite get it right, um, you, you, well, do, you don't get rewarded and you, you are punished. And against a big player, it would be, a, you know, it would be a end of break. But we are playing as a big player, but we're not a big player. You know, we are controlling Neil Robertson, but... Neil's a much better player than we are. But uh, let's just try a nice soft shot into the middle. Good pot. Now we can either have a shot straight pot on this brown or green. No need to take any big risks at this point, in my opinion. Just make sure we can get a pot and then carry on with the break. Now, the effects of topspin aren't really that brilliant on this game, I don't think. Uh, which is a little bit disappointing, actually. Because on older games, you, well, I suppose it's probably more realistic not to have the top spin having such an effect. But on uh, WSC09, for example, um, you could hit the ball with quite a bit of top spin. And it'd basically just whack up and down the table. Uh, good position, by the way, here on this red. Maybe hit it a little bit softer. We can afford to. It will make it to the pocket. And even softer then, in terms of the execution of the actual shot. Not great in terms of position on anything, but we can try and manufacture something. Again, this brown might go. We're just going to use the quite a good marker this yellow is, actually. Now, again, this is going to be close. Nothing too hard, though. To sink this into the left 
Ooh, just a bit offward, just a bit offward. Not quite getting the angles right on the um, aiming aid. So that's something we're going to have to consider, and we'll just have to learn to give a little bit more leeway. You know, you've got to show a lot of respect to these pockets because on this game, I mean, I know nine and games before that, you could bash the ball in pretty much unless you were quite a way off. You could uh, pop the balls in the pockets, but unless you are straight on in terms of middling the pocket and middling the ball, um, you're going to struggle to pop balls consistently. You've got to respect the pockets, and uh, that is something that hopefully we will do. Bit of a harder shot, though, because we knew that we were going to pot it there. Uh, and this one looks like a pretty much dead cert again, so that looks good to me. And I think we'll play a bit of screw back here, just to try and get it down the table and get a decent position on a red. A little bit harder than I planned, but again, this isn't too bad. Bit of screw back and nicely on a straight red into the uh, pocket. I know they're not the biggest breaks in the world, but uh, I'm quite proud of this little break we got going here. I know it sounds absolutely ridiculous, but just to get good position on a few balls, you know, that that's an achievement. Good pop, very hard there, and we might pop the second red, but at least it's... Uh, we haven't potted it even, but the, 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 what I was going to say is that there is at least a red there for future reference. Now, I do like the look of this brown if it will go. Because it looks like a fairly decent pop, but I'll, I'll see if there's anything else that's on that looks tasty. No, I don't think there is. I think this is probably the best option. So, in light of that, we'll hit this nice and soft. Again, get it down onto the cushion with the red, yes. so that'll be quite nice. Will this go? It looks good, and it's in. Good shot. Good long pot. Really what he was intending. And when this game gives you a reward, when you get it right, it is so rewarding. Now, are we going to be rewarded by a good position here? No, we're not. Not on those reds, anyway. We're going to try a fine cut on this red into the pocket. Again, this might end disastrously, but we're going to try it. Probably a little bit uh, softer, actually. Ooh, un unlucky. I do find those shots very hard. Where's the cue ball? Cue ball is going to pull up before the pocket, luckily. But I do find those shots very tricky. Really Seems that uh, those fine cuts are trickier to make, which is nice and realistic. And it's good that those shots are harder to make. That's a half decent safety from Jamie. Now, mm, just going to nestle it up to this ball, push it up to the ball, and uh, I don't think we can do anything more particularly with that now. But we lead this frame by 12 points. It's going to be quite a scrappy one, I think. Particularly in frames where you can't score that much in terms of the breaks aren't that big. They are going to be a bit longer. Uh, that's to be expected with these sort of frames, but... Uh, Hopefully over time we'll get to score more points, and if this is your first video on my channel, uh, I'd love you to subscribe, that'd be absolutely fantastic. I'll be producing um, pretty much exclusive Snooker 19 content, that's a brilliant red that is. Um, pretty much, when I say exclusive, nothing more on the channel apart from Snooker content in the next fortnight, so it's well worth getting excited about. Now this black, does it go? Does it get past the red? Hmm... I do love this uh, walking around the table feature, by the way. I, I'm not going to risk it, because I think it probably does get past. Uh, actually, looking at the other options, we might as well go for it on this occasion. But, uh, yeah. Nice and soft. I think we might come to regret this shot, but, yeah. Attempt, really. I thought we would, but we haven't left anything obvious on, so I think we're okay. And it would be great to win our first frame just to relieve some tension. I think that would be the most important thing. We don't want to have tension thinking, oh, God, we could we could lose this game because we're 1-0 down already. Uh, but once again, not the best position. Might be worth just tapping this red. A bit harder than that. Hopefully this ends well. Yep, pretty much bang on, apart from that red that is left. Um, that's quite a way away from the six reds near the middle of the table. No, no, not He'll do well to pot this, though, but I think he probably will. Nice, he's got the pot there. That's a good pot, to be no honest. Wouldn't quite expect him to make that, but credit to him. One, and now he's made the blue. And I think that was just safety play there, so fair play. Now, can we get through to this red? We can. Right, we'll take the advantage here, then. Good pot. I think what we are going to struggle with in the early stages of this game is just making big breaks. Uh, we're well positioned for the black there, luckily, but uh, a lot of the time you're not going to be able to make big breaks because 
you're not quite in the best position. This game rewards position massively. Because if you've got a straight pot on, it's very easy to pot something. But if not, it's very tricky. Now, I think this could go in the middle. Let's have a look how we can get on. Of course, we can't play any screwbacks. It's coming off the cushion. So, hit this nice and soft. Gives it more of a chance of going in. Oh, no. Needs to go a little bit more towards the pocket. I could tell that as soon as it left uh, the cue ball behind. But we're not doing too badly here. I think he's just potted that, actually. And he's in good position for the black. Oh, he's missed the black, though. But uh, he'd run out of any decent position by then anyway. Uh, well, is safety the best policy here? Suppose we've got this red up the tail, which you can use again. Bit of a risk, though, using this. Doesn't look bad. Just tap the red. And is this a snooker? It might... No, it's not. Well, it would be a snooker on that red, but uh, not on these... Whoa! Wow, that is a pot and half. I did skip that because I thought he wouldn't pot it, but he's just separated those two reds. Majestically, to be quite honest. He's tried to pot that red, though, and that hasn't gone. That's a bit gutting for him, to be fair, after the splendid shot he played earlier. Now, there's either this red, and I'm not very keen on these, to be honest. Uh, there's the long red, which, funnily enough, I am more confident in potting. Probably because it's easier to gauge where the ball is going. It would be so easy just to play an easy aim, you know, but then where's the fun in the game with that? You know, you've got to learn the game, and this is all part of the learning curve. I'm going to try this black. A bit more ambitious in terms of a shot, but it's worth going for. A bit harder than I wanted, but it's in. Come on, keep coming, keep coming. This will be a good position on this red. I think we're okay. Well, we'll soon find out. There we go. Cracking. And we're well on our way to winning the first frame. No way down to the uh, poor play of Jamie Clark. You know, he's not played badly at all. But uh, we've done quite well in this first frame. And I'm really happy with that. Could have done with that blue stain where it was. Uh, that being said, we can cut this into the pocket, can't we? Let's have a look. Hmm, it's a tricky one, isn't it? We'll go for it. Very soft. Yep, yeah, it's in. Go on, good position on the red, please. Stop, stop, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. I feel like a driver instructor. Stop! <laughs> oh, this red won't get past, will it? If we went for the pot anyway, this red would just collide. With... Uh, no, I think at the angle it would just collide. So I... Uh. So I think in light of that, perhaps it might be worth tapping this. If he underhits this, it could end badly. Might be wrong, but... I think we've just tapped that red. Hopefully. Well, no, no foul. That's fine. Neil Robertson, 14. I'm not really sure what he's played there. If we can get, I think we can get through to this red, can we? Yep, we can. And with this red, this probably be... both reds needed. Um, and two colours, of course. That's the frame over. Good shot. Come on, keep coming, keep well, coming. Blue would do. That would put us, what's what? that, 26 ahead? Yeah, uh, yeah, 26 ahead with uh, 35 left on the table. Let's try and get some top on this, just see if we can hit uh, these two balls on the bottom cushion, separate the black and the red. That's a good shot. No, it's not going to travel anywhere near as far as I thought it would do. But we've got a comfortable lead in this first frame against uh, Jamie. I'm going to try this. Uh, uh, no, we're not, actually. We can't get complacent. Uh, I was just about to say, we're going to try this shot, but we the frame's not home and dry yet, so there'll be no point doing that. The only risk of hitting this shot is that it might just go towards the pocket, but no. Hmm. Uh, he can get in there, but it's a tricky one. Again, he's gone for safety. Right, is he trying to lure us into this now? Because he has given us fairly easy shot. I'm going to hit this quite soft, though, actually. I have my reservations, but it's gone in. And just a colour needed, and frame is over. Now, this is a fairly straight pot. We've got away with this. 27 is the lead. So even if we don't pot this, he needs to pot everything on the table to win the frame. Good pot. And the frame is all ours buying snookers. 
What a good start that was. Eight. Some good snooker played there, to be fair. Might as well try this pot. Not going to hurt, is it? Oh, blimey. It is a lot tighter than I thought, that is. Go on. Keep going. Brilliant. Yes, good pot. Finally getting the hang of this. Great to see. So, this pot into the right corner. That's the green down. That's a beauty. Good position on the brown. This will give ourselves and of course the character Neil Robertson a bit more confidence going to the next. It does reduce the confidence of Jamie Cl uh, Clark Cogson. Just had Jamie Cope there. Go on, keep coming. Don't really think we can pot this blue. Uh, we might be able to actually in the bottom pocket. It's pretty straight, a lot straighter than I thought it would, but we're going to give this a good whack. And if it doesn't go in, it doesn't go in, but I would quite uh, like to, I suppose, improve our best break. That's 32. If we pop these next two balls, we can get a break of 35. Well, it's all, it's all little uh, milestones, isn't it? We're going to try and get the double here. It won't work, I can guarantee it, but you never know. No, just me being a plonker. Right, hang on. Hang on. No. Uh, that wasn't too far off, to be fair, getting about the five cushion escape or whatever. But uh, that'll be the frame. Jamie Clark concedes, and with that 48-point lead and the clearance of most of the colours, we lead one frame to nil in this qualifier for the World Open. Jamie Clark to break. Doesn't look like too bad of a break. That one red has escaped a little bit from the reds, but I think he's got away with it, has he? Oh, has he? Now, do we go aggressive? I see. If we were, if we weren't this one frame ahead, I would hesitate. No more than half a but I am going to go for this aggressive pot, and it's in. That's the problem. We're going for these aggressive pots, though. At the start, you leave yourself tend to leave yourself anyway with no position. So, bit of a shot to nothing here. No, it was nowhere near, but again, I think we're pretty safe, are we? No, a lot harder than I wanted to, but once again, unless he can manufacture something here, we're safe. And is it better playing a safety shot or going for the aggressive pot? I think on that occasion, it clearly worked. Goodness knows what he's played there. But uh, I think he's all right, though, again. Really frustrating. Uh, well, we could just go for this red, couldn't we? I never blooming thought of that, but... That, I think this proves, because this red won't go, that therefore the other red won't go, if that logic makes any sense. Uh, but we're going to just tap this red uh, and get really it up the table. Not well. really much up the table, just try and tap the red and limit the damage. Hit the yellow on the way through, that will do, as long as the cue ball doesn't go into the pocket. And that's some good safety play from Neil Robertson there. That's big, big Robbo. Sure. The thunder from down under. I suppose you might ask why I'm doing this with Neil Robertson. I don't know what draws me to Robbo, I just quite like him. I think he's a good player, he's a fashionable player. Again, bit of a shot to nothing here. Um, no, quite a fashionable player, he's doing well at the moment. And, uh, you know, I, I just like Robbo. I don't dislike any of the players, to be honest, you know, they're, they're all good at what they do. Close. Ooh, that was, a bit, that was just a bit wayward, to be quite honest. And unfortunately, we've given a bit of a chance now to start opening a break. But I thought a lot of people would go with Ronnie. It, you know, it's very tempting to go with the Rocket uh, at rank number one. A lot of people would be on Selby as well, probably Judd Trump. So maybe Robertson's a bit more of an unfashionable choice where actually he's quite a logical one, really. You know, he, he's building up. He's playing the best he has for a long time. And, uh, you know, he, he's building up and he could well be the world champion in a few weeks' time. Not on this career mode. Oh, God, don't build me up too much. But I think in a few weeks' time, he could well be the world champion. He's certainly going to be the biggest opposition to Ronnie O'Sullivan for that title. Uh, depending on the draw, I think that is uh, quite crucial. Anyone can go out at any point, of course. But uh, the Crucible, what a theatre. Unfortunately, not quite playing there yet. We're only in the World Open qualifiers, you know. We're not quite at that stage yet. But uh, Robertson's known all of that pressure before. I can't believe I'm happy at a break of four. I'm like, oh, yay, look at us with our little break of four. Ooh. No, cue ball's going in. Oh, that was lucky. It's just those shots that are quite tight and a bit more fine in terms of the cut we need um, and the contact we need to make with the, with the uh, object ball that needs a little bit more work from our side. 
But uh, the red's still quite f uh, finely poised. Bit of a weird shot there from Jamie. Not really sure what he was doing. This is a nasty pot. Ooh. Just caught the cushion, I think, and that wasn't the best thing for it to do. If it stays off the cushion on the way up, it should go. But that just took, makes the ball go a little bit berserk. But I'm not really sure what he's done here. Hmm. Interesting. Right, what do we go for now? That red's blocked off by the yellow, unfortunately. Does this go? It blooming will. What a spot that is. A little bit soft. Oh, you idiot. Will this red go? That's just complete inaccuracy and lack of patience there. I should have known that that blue would have... Oh. What a plonker. And that's really not what we needed. We didn't need a foul. And now he's just took the points. So he's took six points net away from us. Ah, that's a bit silly, wasn't it? Oh, well. Let's not get hung up about it. Blimey, where's that pink gone? Jamie Clark. Nine. Where's the pink going? <laughs> oh, I miss Virgo and Dennis. Good pot, though, as a recovery. Not really in the heart of the pocket. Not the best of pots, but we got away with it on that occasion. One. Black should be fine, but this pink might upset proceedings a little. Well, he's oh, that what did I say? I don't even think he touched the pink, so... We can't even blame the pink there. Just too hard. And I said we need to respect the pocket. Sometimes we're not. And wow, what a pot. I mean, it makes it look easy. And I'm sure it probably will be later on in the game cycle where we learn how to play those sort of shots. But blimey, those shots look like wonder shots at the moment. But he's missed that red. It was a tough one. To be fair to him. And once again, this is a tough one into the middle pocket. But we're going to try it. We need to, really. Clark's got the upper hand in this frame. Just look quite lucky that one dropped, actually. Now, let's see if we can pop this black. Don't need much in terms of angle on this. Nice soft shot. Don't worry too much about position. Oh, that's a good pot. I think it's just when you focus on position too much and you worry that oh, it won't be in the best position. Sometimes... He does end up in a half days position. Unfortunately, it hasn't really shown my theory off too well there. But, uh, uh, no, this won't go to the middle, will it? That's unfortunate. Can we get up to this one? It might be a fine cut that we need on this, so... Might be worth giving it a go. In fact, it's a very fine cut needed. It'd be a miracle if we can pop this. <sighs> Unlucky. We've given him a route back in now. But really, safety play wasn't really much of an option there. But still plenty left on the table if he can build up a decent break. Then he will win this frame. But he's 22 ahead. Still 66 remaining on the table. Make that 59 now. Oh, and he's missed the red. Well, blimey, that was a bit wayward, wasn't it? Very much so. Now, I don't like these pots. But softness is the way to go, I think, with these. Good pot. Now, can we get position on the blue? One. Looks the straightest pot, doesn't it? Let's have a look. Yeah, we can. Let's hit this quite hard and get a bit of screw back. Good pot. Don't pot the red. Don't pot the red. That'll be another point which we can get. Six. And a nicely manufactured position there. Bit lucky. I wasn't really aiming to do that, to be quite honest. So, good position. Let's pull off the pot now, which we have done. It'd be even better if we can get position on the black. Don't think we will, though. Come off the cushion. No. Seven. No, not quite hard enough. So, what do we go for here? I think safety's key, so we'll go for a bit of a shot to nothing. Hit it with the... Uh, hit the green up the table. But uh, also try and just get it well, safe. I'm not surprised he's taking on a long pot here. No, the green wasn't really anywhere near, but we weren't looking for the pot necessarily there. Cue ball's still fairly safe unless he goes for this big pot off the cushion. But I still remain positive about this frame. It's certainly not over yet by any stretch. Again, might as well go for this red. Better than playing safe sometimes. 
No, that's a mile off. I need to learn how to play those shots. I think I'm relying too much on how those shots used to play in old games, and clearly they're a lot different now. I tend to tend to look at the, the middle ground just to work out what's happening, but once again, we've left ourselves fairly safe. But what a pot that is from Jamie Clark. Really impressive. But he's bottled the pink, but whilst doing that unbelievably, he's, he's uh, managed to snooker us. He needs good control over the pace of the white with this shot. Oh, I knew that would happen. I just knew that would happen. I thought, well, if I get, I'm just going to get too much angle or too little. That's another few points for Jamie Clark. I just feel like we want to give them him. If he pots this red, you know, fair enough to him, but oh, he's left himself safe again. I mean, he's so lucky on this occasion. Not much power required, just get it tapped. Again, it's going to be an uphill struggle to win this frame now, but we're going to try. Why not? You know, if, you, if, if we're still within, within a chance, it's always worth going for it. But a little bit of a safety battle is going to ensue now, but... Ooh, we can't get the pot, can we now? It's a bit unfortunate. So, I think what we're going to do is just try and get There's the ball back up the table. Here. Christ, we've hit that many balls. That's going to go in the pocket, isn't it? Oh, we are lucky. Well, if he pulls this off, that's a pretty impressive angle to pull it off at. But the amount of balls we hit on the way through, though, is crazy. Ooh, okay. We can get this. Just need to focus once again, like we did with the black earlier, the long pot, just think, not much angle, pretty much straight, a tad bit of angle, and it's worked on that occasion. Now, this black is a tricky one, really is, but we're going to have to go for it, really, to be in any sort of chance of winning this frame. Nice and soft, though, as I said before. Don't touch the cushion, and it's in, it's there. Now, have I really considered position for this yellow? No, not at all. But we are 21 points behind with uh, a total of 27 to play for on the table. So we're just going to put it up to this yellow. No, too soft. Too soft. That's some points gone on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. That's just about perfect. 16 or 17 percent would have been much too much. Hang on. <laughs> again, Dennis and John creeping in there again. Sorry. If you don't know what I'm on about, you need to watch some uh, of my older gameplay on the likes of WSC04. Oh, what the hell is he played there? Just bash those, blimey. Again, just put this up to the, the yellow. We've done well, really, to get back into the... Oh, well, it's all over now. That was a poor safety shot. He needs the yellow, which he hasn't potted. But this is a nasty one. So, once again, we're just going to get position on this. Make sure we do hit it 17%. Any less and we're not going to get it. Hopefully it ends well. Hopefully the ball doesn't... Oh, unbelievable. There you go, Jamie. There's your points. <laughs> oh, dear. Just the green needed to win the frame. Well, he hasn't got it. It's a tricky pot for us. If we are going to get it. Now, can he drop this into the right corner? Good pot. Excellent pot. Now we need all the balls left on the table, but that's something we can do. You know, we've done it before. Right, nice and soft. This is a real Again, no need to worry so much about position. Browns down. Now we just need these three colours. And we've pulled off an impressive comeback Seven. to be two frames in front. He's going this pink's going to be a problem, but don't worry about that yet. Just get the blue. Oh, no, it's just missed. But saying that, on this occasion, we're safe purely because of the position of the pink. Seven. Possibly a little bit too hard there. Don't know what he's played here. Bit of a bonkers shot. But we get a second chance at that top pocket, which I'll take every day of the week. He's an expert long potter and he's done Even softer, on. actually. Just. See, let's see. Trade yes, it's dropped. There. Come on, good position on the pink, please. Very well played. Bye. Well played. This is a pretty much straight shot on the pink. Now, position on the black is going to be a problem, but once again, let's focus on this 
pot, which we've got. Eleven. And what's the gap? Five points. We need to pot the black. Right, okay. He'll want to get this cue ball close to the cushion. We played well up to yet. Let's hope this safety shot goes well. It's got about a 50 50 chance of going well, this shot. I mean, is there any potting angle on that? I would be unsure. Pace is key here. I mean, he's gone for it. Gone for a bit of a bizarre shot. He's just put it up the other end of the table, which suits me. Once again, we can play this sort of shot again. The success of this shot is reliable. Need to be very precise here. Too hard. Just too hard. And he will get an angle. Oh, no. So lucky the way that the, the ball's made contact there. To divert it away from the pocket. He's tried it though. And once again, this is going to be quite a long battle. But one I'm willing to take. If uh, it means that we can win a second frame in a row. We've worked to get this. But unfortunately, I don't think that's going to be hard enough. We might be lucky again. No, I think we're okay actually. And that's a perfect safety. Alright, alright. Right, yeah, if we hit it that hard, the cue ball's just jumping off the table. So we'll have to make sure that we're doing something here. Uh, surely that's going to be enough just to tap the ball. It all comes down to this black for this frame. Oh. Right, let's get it back down the table, shall we? Go on, go on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Right down the bottom of the table, give him his hardest chance. It's potable, this is. But it's a tricky one. And if he pops it, he deserves the frame. Has he gone for the double? Ooh, right. Okay, then. So it's a challenging shot, but it's one that can win us the frame. Stay off the cushion. Play it cool. Not too much angle. He needs to be mindful of not underhitting this shot. Yes, thanks, gents. I don't think this is going to go, but you never know. Oh, it hasn't dropped. But very lucky there. Will Jamie get this? This is just crazy like the black ball final. I think he is going to get this. What's he played there? I think he can get to the... Oh, well. Is he playing the safety? Oh, very lucky. Keep going. No, no. He's going to get a pot here because it is good position. If he doesn't pot this, if this goes in, he'll be kicking himself. Be yeah, that's the frame to Jamie Cope. So that's a bit unfortunate for us there. The a few poor shots, but on the whole we played quite well. But well, I think it was a credit to us that we got it back to that black. Really wow, 38 minutes gone already. Yes, this is really Blimey. With neither player being able to break free. Thank you. Well, I think what we'll do actually, folks, because that is quite long for two frames. We'll leave it there. Um, we'll leave it there for today, for today's episode, and tomorrow at 6pm, this series is going to be daily, so tomorrow we are going to play the last few frames, however many we need, um, to decide the outcome of this qualifier. But apologies, we've only shown two frames today, but once again, um, you know, it, it's been two long frames, so I wouldn't want to play the other three and risk it being too long of an episode, but I hope you guys have enjoyed. I've been TIJ Gaming, if, you feel, if this is your first time watching the channel, make sure to subscribe, like down below and leave a comment as well on what you think of the game and the way we've played in today's episode. But as I say, there'll be plenty of Snooker 19 content on the channel, including uh, gameplay videos, first impressions, and my review, which will come out in the next few days, as well as this career mode, which will be out at 5pm each and every day. Thank you very much for watching, folks. I've been TIJ Gaming, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.